I'm not even dead yet, and Lucky Pole is already, you know, committing revisionism against me. So, I'm just making this quick video to clear some things up. Because you're going to hear all kinds of things that I'm a roachless, which I'll admit to that, uh, a Nazpol, a Christian socialist, things like that. And I I don't want to tell you what to think. There's there's no reason to. If, if, as long as you hate moderators and you realize that they are the worst, worst people in the world, and I use the term people loosely, I'm not even going to define them as legally persons, um, then we don't have a problem. You can believe whatever the hell you want. You don't even have to be a communist, a leftist, or whatever. If you hate moderators, good enough. But there's this misconception that, you know, just because I'm an asshole, somehow I'm a Nazgul or whatever, and I'm not. Like, if I was, I would just say so. I, I've said worse shit. Why would I care about calling myself a Nazgul? I just, but I don't believe in that. I don't believe that, uh, race has any bearing on a person's potential as a human being. You know, maybe I think that some races are culturally worse than others. I certainly think that there are genetic predispositions toward, uh, you know, their physical nature, but I wouldn't go as far as to say that, you know, if you're white or you're black or whatever, you are more prone to being a rapist or a moderator or whatever. I don't I don't see enough evidence to support that. But if I did, then, you know, I would just come out and say it. I wouldn't give a shit if other people thought I was racist or not. But I don't see that. So, you know, why am I going to do that? Just to pander to you? No. Um, but I do think that every nation has the right to self-determination. If Nazbols and the more right-leaning nationalists and shit like that truly believe they want to white power nation or whatever, fucking let them have it. Because there's only three situations that can happen when you have self-determination. One, you are defecting from the globalist imperialist power, and that's always good. Number two, you're just having your self-determination. You get to fucking wank yourself off and have your little wannabe utopia where you're not part of the, you know, greater scheme of things. And nothing really changes. Or number three, you're defecting from an international communist movement, and you're going to starve to death. And that's good. So, you know, nothing really bad can come from self-determination. Sometimes good things can happen. But all in all, I would just say it's neutral. It's, it's just something that you have the right to do. Just like you have the right to do a lot of things that I may or may not really care about but as a human being you have the right and i know in the millennial age people don't believe in rights they look for every excuse to be like oh, but, but, but i don't care about butts if i wanted your butt i'd be a faggot and i and i fucking pin you down and rape you i don't want your butts i want you to fucking have rights i have rights you have rights everybody has rights and that's why i focus on moderators that's why i don't focus on this stupid you know Lefty pole shit. But all in all, I don't think Nazbols are all that reactionary. I don't think they're that fucking terrible. They might get some things incorrect, but who doesn't? Certainly better than just the posers that are calling themselves egoists or whatever. What does that even mean? You know? So, you know, I give them credit for at least being good third positionists. And... The same goes for anarchists. Don't like them. Except for ancaps and and prims. Anarcho primitivists at least somewhat get it, even if they don't consciously get it, but their end result is about the same. And as far as ancaps, they would make things so terrible that I can't help but enjoy it. It's just like, you know, when your child is sold into sex slavery and there's a fucking drug dealer on every corner, how can I complain, you know? Because fuck you. Um but that comes back to accelerationism. That doesn't really uh, pertain to any revolutionary potential or correctness thereof. Um, but I hope this clarifies some things for you. It, you are arguing about whether or not I would support something or I would denounce something. 
don't even bother, because I wouldn't. If it doesn't pertain to moderators, it doesn't pertain to me. I got enough problems dealing with these goddamn pedophiles, these goddamn fucking mobsters, tax embezzlers, uh, you know, everything. Th th that's what moderators are. They are pretty much any kind of criminal element you could imagine. And I g there's a lot of them. So, you know, I don't have time to worry about, you know, your baby politics. I gotta fucking worry about myself. I gotta worry about getting rid of these goddamn psychopath moderators. I don't fucking care what you call yourself. Call yourself a Neo Gorbachevist for all I goddamn care. It, it, it doesn't mean anything because there isn't a revolution. There isn't a functioning communist party. There isn't probably ever going to be a functioning communist party or functioning revolution. So, whatever. Call yourself red and green Christmas tree communist for all I care. Because why are you going to bog yourself down with these labels, which by the way is identity politics, you're still being liberal. Why are you going to bog yourself down with these labels of, you know, you're this kind of communist versus that kind of communist, and you're not being communist enough because you didn't support what I support. You know, we could get into the whole trans debacle with that of, oh, are you pro or anti tranny You know? Meanwhile, I've, I've fucked trans before, but that's not good enough. I'm still in because I said the word tranny. I don't, I don't fucking care. I don't care. I know what I'm, what I believe and what I don't believe. And if you don't, well, you're stupid, because I'm smarter than you. I already know that, so, you know, you could fucking scream your head off. Yeah, that's what, you know, everything my brother knows, he knows because of me. I taught his ass. You know, he he was just a, he was just a, a woo lad. A woo lad with his fucking fedora before he met me. And then, you know, started listening to me, and he became the number one communist on YouTube. You're welcome. You're welcome, lucky boy.